Hello, Jenny Hall for Honey Bee Stamps. Today I'd like to share a project created with Puppy Love Stamps and Dies, Friends Forever Stamps and Dies, and the Radiant Background Stencil. I'll be starting off my project by stamping with light brown dye ink onto standard white cardstock. It can be either heavyweight or a medium, such as an 80 pound. For using colored pencils, it really doesn't make a difference in my experience. I'm going to use a number of browns, tans, and grays in order to achieve the colors and contours for this super cute little doggy. I had to choose which dog from the stamp set to use and I have to say that this guy just stole the show for me. He's so cute and I thought I could make him look like he's behind or in front of a burst, kind of like a comic book character, like the big kapows in comic books. So this guy is really happy looking and I want him to have lots of highlights on the body in order to match the theme of the card. So to create those highlights, then my very first tip would be to leave some white spaces when you're coloring. If you notice on the ears, there is a, an, an area that has no color on the ear so that I can go over it with a lighter pencil and blend the darker color into the lighter. There are many different ways in order to achieve coloring to go from the beginning to your final result. What I find is the easiest way is to work in layers. And I achieve that by first starting off with some medium tones, adding contours around the, the object, say the head of the dog, and then I build up and bring those colors in a little bit closer. I do not apply a large amount of pressure until I get to those upper layers when I really want the colors to blend together onto the paper. So Prismacolor pencils will blend together beautifully. I find in order to achieve this blend, I need to have enough layers of color built up together so that when I apply pressure and really, really want them to blend, then they will. So if I've got three different colors layered on one particular area, then I finish it off with a like the white or that very light tan color, and it'll blend together like magic. You don't have to use Gamsol, but you can. And it's just a very easy way to color. So I'm using the coordinating dies for Puppy Love, and look how cute he just cuts out perfectly. So here is that comic book style background. I'm using a, just two Distress colors, Distress Oxide colors, and this is going to be a very light background in comparison to how well it could be because I don't want the entire card base to be colored, just the one section. So I want to keep it a little bit more on the pale side so that it'll easily fade into the white. And if you notice the Friends Forever stamp set that has coordinating word dies that surround the sentiment, which means I can place this sentiment anywhere I want to and not have to worry about a banner strip or is it going on top of some ink blended background doesn't make a difference. It's perfect. So I'm adhering the doggy down with some double sided foam adhesive and the sentiment as well. So easy and so cute. Oh, this little guy is so cute. Here is a Spectrum Noir clear sparkle pen. This is the one that just leaves the glittery stuff behind. It doesn't do anything to my colored image. And I'm just highlighting over the ears and the paws and the nose. And then I decided I wanted some sparkle all over the whole thing. Not a solid coat of sparkle, but I wanted there just to be enough like highlights and glimmer. So I did the little flicking motion and it works out perfectly. So I'm using the Marvy Jewel Picker and some 
moonlight rhinestones. These are kind of like a cone shape, but they're flat on the top, so they don't impair the envelope when you mail your project. Very, very easy card to duplicate. Imagine the color schemes and the different dogs. It's just like so cute. And I've even stamped the inside of the card. Thank you all so much for spending time with Honey Bee Stamps today. We encourage you to interact with us on Facebook, Instagram, and to pin.